Hello everyone. So welcome to this lecture. And today we are going to discuss this grammar sense procedure. So basically earlier we have discussed the disadvantages and advantages of this uh, digital communication. So now it is very important and from this topic only you can uh, just understand the basics of uh, these uh, ASK, PSK and FSK that are our modulation techniques. So basically uh, what do you mean by a grammar sense procedure? First of all we have to know this. The Gram-Smith procedure is basically a part of orthogonality. Actually, it uh, involves the orthogonality. And first of all, you have to know these two relations. That when we have two functions and they are integrating with the time period of 0 to t, then it would be 0 if they are different. And if it is same, that means phi 1 square t like this, dt equals to 1. If it is same, it would be 1. If, if these are different, different in multiplication, then it would be 0. Okay, so you have to know this. We will use this uh, in uh, further derivations. <clears throat> so it is a processor for con constructing or uh, orthogonal complete set uh, consisting of only finite number of function. Okay, let me tell you one thing that we are just using this grammar sense procedure to derive our uh, some kind of uh, these uh, ASK, PSK, FSK and also we are just going to have the finite number of function uh, as a numerical. We would be having so uh, this is our derivation part and if you will just learn this derivation it would be beneficial for you in uh, this uh, upcoming topics like uh, phase modulation technique okay that I have earlier told you so this this kind of uh, first number of equation you have to remember that s1 t equals to in t uh, this is the sum summing the sigma j equals to 1 to n s i j u j t okay now you have to put 1 2 3 up to n okay so first of all i am putting s i i equals to 1 i am putting i equals to 1 and j would be changing from 1 to n s equals to 1 s 1 t s 1 1 u 1 t s 1 2 u 2 t the trick to remember it that when we have u 1 t u 2 t u 3 t or u n t that means i would be same okay in a particular row but this one two will differ according to the second one which is uh, near to it u1 t s11 you can check here s12 u2 okay or just uh, uh, remember this this uh, equation as s i t equals to sigma j equals to 1 to n s i j u j t okay so we have made these kinds of equation you can have the s1 t s2 t s3 t and uh, same as we have similarly s m t okay because uh, here we have assumed that i will uh, uh, reach up to m and uh, j will reach up to n okay so s m t and s n t right so uh, let us have the first step of uh, this derivation First of all, we are just equating our, uh, uh, okay, let me tell you one thing before I proceed further, that you have to mention it, the first equation, the second equation, the third equation, and it would be the, our fourth equation, you can mention it accordingly. So, this is our first equation, so I am just taking this first equation to calculate the S11. And one thing, uh, for the further derivation, you have to remember that, if I am calculating S1t, if I'm calculating S2T, if I'm calculating S3T, then I have to derive the relation between S31. I have to derive the actual equation of S31, S32 and S33. Okay. So what I have to uh, uh, derive that I have to know the relation of S31, S32 and S33 because I would be using it in the further processings. So if I am having S1T, then I have to calculate only S11 U1T. You will neglect all the actual uh, all the further kind of these uh, values you have to forget for the trick for the remembering key, you have to just know that uh, j cannot be uh, just greater than i okay if i am equating in this steps j cannot be greater than i you have to remember this okay so here i am coming I am taking the first equation and I have just put all the values except the first one. I have earlier told you that 
j cannot be greater than i so i have put all the values to zero so you have to put these values zero okay you have to take only this value so you you will have the s1 t equals to s11 u1 t then squaring and integrating over p t so you have integrating over u 0 to t and 0 to t then you have s1 square t dt this one is square s11 square u1 square t dt okay i have earlier told you according to the orthogonality we have the relation that if a function is squaring itself uh, within a integration time period of 0 to t then it would be the value uh, of this function would be 1 and if these are different if uh, let us assume that uh, we are having u1 t into u2 t integration dt uh, from 0 to t then it would be 0 but in this case it is the same function u1 t into u1 t or you can say u1 square t dt then it would be 1 so this would be 1 hour then uh, this this uh, this would be equal to this value so from here i have calculated s11 s11 equals to under root 0 to t s1 square t dt okay or from this equation only we can calculate u1 t also so u1 t equals to s1 t upon s11 now i have earlier told you that uh, if you are if you are having this equation first then you have to calculate u s11 if you have s2 t then you have to calculate s21 and s22 if you have s3 t then you have to calculate s31 s32 and s33 so now we are further moving to the second equation we are taking the second equation this is our equation here and you have to uh, just put this equation uh, i have earlier told you that uh, the i cannot be just uh, uh, greater than j okay i cannot be just greater than j you have to remember this sorry j cannot be greater than i okay so s2 t equals to s21 u1 t plus s22 u2 t and in the third scenario plus s23 u3 t that means j is uh, is going greater than i uh, in this case we will neglect all the values and we will just uh, take these values only so we will calculate s21 and s22 here so now you have to use that trick of orthogonality that how we can calculate s21 and s22 okay so in first case i have taken multiply both the sides by u1 t and integrate over period time t so from this line only you can just uh, uh, assume that i'm if i am multiplying u1 t in both the sides and integrating it that means u1 t multiply u2 t it would definitely going to be zero because it, uh, i have earlier told you about the orthogonality property and here u1 t into u1 t it would be the uh, square of u1 t and that would become the uh, one okay and it would be s2 t u1 t integrating zero to t so as i have told you this this is the result of it when i am just multiplying with u1 t on both the sides integrating to the 0 to t it would be become 0 due to orthogonality and this would be 1 so i have calculated it as 2 1 okay now i have to calculate s2 2 and s2 uh, okay s2 2 i have to calculate and u2 t i have to calculate so for the s2 2 uh, from here you just have to assume if i want to calculate s2 2 i have to make this one 0 or you can just uh, have to uh, shift it to the another side and then you can do anything else so from here you can see i have just uh, make this equation i have to make this equation like s2 to u2 t this i have to take this side so i have taken this to this side it would become s2 t minus s2 1 u1 t when you have to square it you are going to square it then it would become let me just uh, when you will just uh, uh, square it and uh, integrate it to the 0 to t it would become like uh, this 0 to t 0 to t and uh, this would be the u2 uh, uh, u2 square this would also be square okay and this would be also the square I have to take it in the side of the square and there would be the integration from 0 to t also because on the both side there should be equality so it should be the 0 to t so from here when I have uh, earlier studied about the uh, orthogonality it would become 1 because it is the same function these are multiplying with each other u2 to u2 to t into u2 t uh, the integration is 0 to t then it would become 1 so I have uh, I have uh, uh, this only 
is to do square this and as to do I have taken the under root on the another side that means we have this value as to do okay so as I have calculated the s11 I have calculated the s12 and I have calculated the s22 now I have to calculate the u2t uh, from this equation uh, okay from this equation when you will just uh, uh, move it to this side you will get s22 u2t equals to s2t minus s21 u1t okay then you have you can calculate as u2t by uh, taking this this uh, s22 on uh, the uh, denominator side of it okay so this would be the value of u2t also so now uh, from here we have calculated the s11 i have calculated the s11 i have calculated the s12 i have calculated the s22 i have calculated the u1t and i have calculated the u2t okay so these uh, five values would be very 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 much important for your uh, upcoming derivations like uh, ask psk fsk whether it is gpsk whether it is uh, qpsk whatever you are going to do in the next unit it would be definitely going to relate from here because without this gram smith procedure derivation you cannot uh, calculate the values of uh, the uh, uh, you cannot make the constellation diagram you cannot uh, able to uh, you would not able to uh, find out the probability of error because probability of error will definitely going to require the constellation diagram and the constellation diagram can actually be made from these uh, these values only so uh, similarly we can uh, uh, just calculate uh, from here uh, s3t from uh, now i have calculated from this only I can actually calculate from here also that I can calculate S31, S32 and S33. It would definitely be going to just uh, have the values similarly like this. Okay, but uh, actually, actually the main uh, requirement of these two equations uh, would be there. So we will just leave it to here only. So hope it is clear to you all. And if you are having any kind of doubt, if you want this lecture in Hindi, uh, so please comment in the uh, uh, comment box and thank you so much for joining us thank you